Okay, in this video I want to do, um, I want to calculate a definite integral using Riemann sums. So what I want to do is I want to calculate the value of this definite integral from 1 to 3 of x squared minus x plus 1 dx. And I'm not going to do this by finding an antiderivative. Um, if you've seen this stuff, um, I'm not going to do it this way. I'm going to do it the long way using the definition. Okay, so let me remind you on a couple things here just in case and also give you a couple formulas that we need to use here. So the first thing is simply the definition of a definite integral in terms of Riemann sums. So that's what we have on the right hand side. Um, remember to calculate the value of delta x. We'll let that equal uh, b minus a over n, so the length of the interval over n. To calculate the value of our little x sub i star, we'll use the formula a plus delta x times i. And then there's also a couple summation formulas that you also need to know. If you sum up the first k natural numbers, we'll get k times n. If we sum up the first n, um, excuse me, I said that backwards. Um, if k is a constant, if we sum that up from 1 to n, we'll get k times n. If we sum up the first n natural numbers from 1 to n, the formula is n times n plus 1 over 2. And um, if we square them instead, we get this corresponding formula. Okay, I don't want to talk about where these come from. That's not my intent in this video. Um, just you want to be able to use these. Okay, so when I go to calculate this stuff, okay, so it says my delta x value for this particular problem, again, b is the upper limit of integration. So let's write down the original problem that we had a second ago that we were trying to calculate. Um, so we want to calculate the value from 1 to 3, again, of x squared minus x plus 1 dx. Okay. Okay, so in this case we can calculate our delta x value. It's going to be the upper limit minus the lower limit. So that'll give us 3 minus 1 over n, or the value 2 over n. Okay, so now to get our value for x sub i, again we just plug in our a value. The lower limit of integration is our a value, so we're going to let x sub i be a, which is 1. We know what delta x is, we just calculated that. That's the value 2 over n, or equivalently, um, I'm just going to write it as 1 plus 2i over n. Okay, so now we know our x sub i value, and again, um, there's nothing really to fill in on these bottom formulas, but we'll end up using them at some point during the course of this problem. <coughs> okay, so the function that we're integrating in this case, this is our f of x. Okay, so we're trying to integrate x squared minus x plus 1. So that means our value f of x sub i star, that's going to equal, um, well, originally it was x squared minus x plus 1. So if we plug that in, we'll get 1 plus 2i over n quantity squared minus 1 plus 2i over n. Okay, and I think probably it's a good idea at this point to simplify this out. So this is going to be, a, these are pretty long and tedious problems as you're about to, to witness, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> okay, so if I were to FOIL this out, I believe I would get 1 plus, I would get 4i over n, because I would get 2i over n plus 2i over n, that would give me 4i over n. And then on the last part, I would get 4 i squared over n squared minus 1 minus 2i over n and then I have my plus 1 hanging out so the minus 1 and the plus 1 would just cancel out so we can get rid of those I've got stuff divided by n well I've got 4i over n minus 2i over n that's going to leave me with a positive 2i over n after I subtract <coughs> Okay, so this is the value of our function f of x sub i star. Okay, so now if we plug it into the definition to calculate this thing, let's plug all of this in. So again, we know what our delta x is, that's 2 over n, 
x sub i star, we've calculated our f of x sub i. Okay, so it says when we plug it all in, we're going to have the limit as n goes to infinity. And when we plug in our f of x sub i, um, let's not leave out our summation, i equals 1 to n. When we plug in our f of x sub i star, again, we're going to be um, calculating the summation of this 1 plus 2i over n plus 4i squared over n squared. And it says we have to multiply all of that by delta x, which is 2 over n. Okay, so now we have um, rewritten our definite integral in terms of the definition using Riemann sums. So I think I'm going to stop this video here. So this would be the setup. Um, look around. This will be part one. I'm actually going to compute the sum in another video. Uh, but if you just need to see how to set it up, that would be the um, first part of it. So, all right, I hope this helps. Like I said, if you want to actually see me compute this, um, dig around. It should be right nearby.